Hello and welcome to this sixth session on this solar system project. And in this session, we are going to add some audio effects. So, to begin with, I have to now add some audio. So, I will now come to Unity. And in this game, actually, when you imported the asset in the project, if you come to assets in sound, I had given you three audio sounds. One is the burning sound, you just play and check it. So, this is the sound for sun. Then you have another sound here, droned can scary. This is for earth. And you have another sound here. We are going to add this for Mars. So, how are we going to add sound? Say for example, I select sun. You just select this burning audio file, drag it and put it on sun. So, when you put it on sun and when you select sun, automatically if you scroll down, you have an audio source added and with the audio source, you have all the parameters here. Actually, Unity has a very beautiful spatial sound. So, you can create the radial 3D sound and especially when you see it with a virtual reality headset, it appears as though you yourself are there. So, you have that is why so many 3D settings over here. Right now, what I am now going to do is, if I come to the sound here in the audio source, see in the audio source, if you come back and if you are, you have one setting here, 3D surround sound setting, I will open it. And when I open it, you have minimum distance and maximum distance. I will reduce this maxim, uh, maximum distance to around 40 or even 30. I will make it 30 and then you have Doppler level and for sun, I will set this Doppler level to 0. I will keep it 0 and after this, now after this, now next is I will just see all other settings are fine and only thing is I will decrease the volume a little. I will keep it approximately around 0.4. I will give the audio. Uh, level at 0.4. So, I have added the sun sound. So, now if I save the file and if I just play it and test it. So, you can now see I will just check it. You can hear the sound of you are hearing the sound of sun, but it plays some time and it is stopping. Why is because if you select sun and if you come to this audio source here, I have to enable loop, I have enabled loop, then I am going to go to file and choose save. So, we have added sound for sun. Now, when we focus on earth, I am going to use an another sound. You have this sound called as dark and scary. I am going to drag this dark and sound uh, scary sound and I am put it in, going to put it on earth. And for earth, I will come over here again in the sound source setting, audio source setting. I will enable loop and I will set the volume to around same value 0.4 I will set the value and I am going to set the maximum distance even here to 30. But only thing is I will increase the Doppler level to 2. Okay. So, now I will save the file and let us now check and see. I will, I will play the game and I will just check it. Now, uh, I will stop the playback. I will play it maximized. So, that uh, so now when I click on R, one second. So, now the earth is being focused. Actually, as the earth comes closer, the volume is going to increase. So, you will get that 3D effect in the sound. So, you can hear it. If you carefully observe it, the earth sound is coming. As it is coming close, it is changing. Now, similarly now, what I will do is, this is earth and I am going to do the same thing with the Mars. So, I will stop this playback and for Mars, I will select this drone hum sound. 
and I am going to put it for Mars. Uh, one second, I will drag it and put it over this Mars. So, if I select Mars now, if I scroll down, you have this audio source drone hum, I will enable loop and for this the Doppler effect I will leave it at 1 and I will set the maximum distance say I will set it to 50 in all the files. In Mars also I will set it to 50 and in uh, Sun also I will set it to 50 and in Earth also I will set it to 50. So, I will set it to 50 now. Now, I will go to file I will save this and let us now check I will play and check these audios. So, now you are hearing the Mars sound stop this. Now, what I will do is I will come over here and uh, I will select Mars and for Mars I will come to audio source and I will also reduce this volume to 0 0.4. Okay, so, once I reduce it to 0.4, now I will play it and check it. So, you have the sounds running. So, now uh, I will click on Mars. So, now I am on Mars and I will click on Earth. So, you have this beautiful spatial sound that you are hearing. Now, what happens is whenever it is moving, no, sometimes see the camera goes inside the object, see it is going inside the object. So, to avoid it, I think it is better, uh, I will select the main camera, I have set its x value to minus 6, I will uh, make it around minus 7 and I will slightly lift it to the top by typing here so that the camera is to the top and I will tilt it down by around 25 degree not 25 degree it is too much I will tilt it down by 20 degree ok. So, now I will uh, save this file so that I am on a little topper view and now if I run it see you can either click it here or even I can click it here see I click on earth here so now it is following earth. If I click on Mars here, it will select the Mars. See. see now it is selecting Mars. So, if I select, so I have to click correctly on that. See now it is selecting and moving with Mercury. See it is following Mercury. So, like this, now there is no clash and this is working fine. Only thing now is I want to add this look at file to sun also. I will come back to script here. I will add this change look at uh, uh, file that is script. I had not added it to sun. I will add it to sun also and I will come back to script here and in the script. So, where is the script here? Uh, where did we add the script? Uh, So, you have it here change look at script and here I am now going to drag sun and make it the target. So, now see what happens is I can immediately I will play it and I will check it say for example, when it is moving I click on earth and I am on the earth. If I click on sun see I will go to long view as soon as I click on sun I am seeing the full view. And now I can click on earth to come closer to earth. You, I can click on moon to go closer to moon or I can now click on this. See now this is working fine. Okay, Everything is working fine and now with this I will conclude this session. We have added the audio and one last section where we are going to add instruction to the user to click on the earth and we are going to add a text and then we are going to publish it so that everyone can now see this content. So, this part we will do it in our next session. Thank you.